30 years have passed and passed at other another side of the river as well see initial 30 years passed on that side of the river then the next 30 years passed at another side of the river now he comes to the river and he tries to commit suicide because he was feeling inner discontent and he was quite worried about the follies and mistakes he committed in his life so he tries to commit suicide near a river but when he saw his own reflection in the water of the river he found the innocent face of a small brahmin boy little brahmin boy he also saw the innocent face of a samana the life which he had passed he also saw uh, many innocent faces of his life and then he decides that although he has committed follies and mistakes in his life he would not commit suicide see uh, drowning in the water and abolition of the sea is a popular mot- motif in hesse's novel he himself hesse himself tried to commit suicide and the same thing gets reflected in his novel as well his character not only of not only of this novel but his character in other novels as well tried to commit suicide but suicide is taken as a motif in hesse's novel he wants to, as hesse as an author wants to make the readers feel that when we try to commit suicide that attempt of suicide leads us to uh, leads us to a kind of reflection wherein we are reminded of the great competence which is lying within us after contemplating suicide and after becoming uh, away from it away from it he decides to remain near the river he lives with that fer- uh, ferryman vasudeva here i would like to point out the name vasudeva given to that ferryman if you know hindu mythology we all know that krishna's one of the names was vasudeva krishna became facilitator for arjun arjun had many questions and krishna tried to lord krishna tried to quench his thirst of knowledge in the same way this character vasudeva also tries to quench the thirst of uh siddhartha siddhartha and vasudeva both of them live together uh, at the river side let us see on the screen how they uh, uh, talk to each other and uh, talk about life vasudeva heard everything from siddhartha siddhartha narrated his story he uh, talked about his own discontent and everything to vasudeva vasudeva was happy with uh, siddhartha and vasudeva could make out that there is a kind of connection of siddhartha with this river so he invited siddhartha to live with him in his hut both of them were spending hours and hours together sitting by the river and just listening to the river from vasudeva as well as from the river siddhartha learned quite a lo- quite a lot first important thing he learned from the river was there is no time if you have observed a river it is constantly flowing it doesn't get stuck at one point of time at one place so we can say that a river has no past river has no future river has only one thing river is in the present tense only so he learned from the river that presence is more important present tense is more important he should forget his past he should forget whatever mistakes and follies he has committed in the past what he learned from vasudeva was the river contains the voices of all that is created by the god and when it speaks all the voices of creation at once the blessed om is heard by those who can listen to it so this was his learning he learned from the river as well as vasudeva he was quite happy at the river because he was sharing each and every thought of his with vasudeva uh, but the writer harman hesse did not end the novel over here he wanted to make siddhartha become free of each and every bondage so again he brings kamla into the novel kamla was on a pilgrimage but due to serpent bite some people took him took her to the river along with siddhartha's son the young siddhartha so here kamla's last encounter with siddhartha occurs 
सिद्धार्था फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम मिट्स हिज सन द यंग सिद्धार्था कमला बिकम्स अनकॉन्सियस एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स शी डाइज हैंडल हैंडिंग ओवर द यंग सिद्धार्था ऑन द सोल्जर ऑफ सिद्धार्था द यंग सिद्धार्था इज नाउ लिविंग विथ सिद्धार्था बट दिस यंग सिद्धार्था वॉज नॉट एट ऑल हैप्पी विथ सिद्धार्था बिकॉज ही हैड सीन लाइफ ऑफ रिचेस ही हैड नॉट सीन पॉवर्टी एंड हियर एट द रिवर साइड सिद्धार्था हैड नथिंग टू गिव टू ऑफर टू हिज सन यंग सिद्धार्था सो दिस यंग सिद्धार्था वॉज नॉट एट ऑल हैप्पी ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू डिसऑबे हिज फादर दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन वॉज वेरी हार्ड टू एनकाउंटर फॉर सिद्धार्था एज अ फादर he forgot the fact that one day he disobeyed his father he left his father's house same thing his son is also doing let us uh, remember the words spoken by ferryman he said everything comes back whatever action he did with his father same thing his son does with siddhartha siddhartha tries to give his son everything he wanted but then his son was not at all happy with him and he wanted the young siddhartha wanted to go back to the life from where he had come um siddhartha soon realized his folly he realized that i am going to do the same thing which my father did he also wanted me to remain at home he didn't listen to me he didn't understand me in the same way i am also not understanding my son i should let my boy go and for that vasudeva also persuaded him a lot he said that water will go to water the boy has seen riches only and that is why the boy will go to riches only nobody no no teacher no father nobody can help him go back to his fat so siddhartha at the last lets the boy go to his own fat it was a hard trial for siddhartha and during this phase of his life he became away from the river because he was feeling a kind of disturbance uh, in within uh, he was also uh, become away from uh, uh, his dear friend vasudeva but he realizes his folly and at the end siddhartha gives the boy over to his own fate after some time vasudeva also departs into the forest why vasudeva goes to the forest we don't know it is a kind of mystical element in the depicted by herman hesse in the novel but before he goes he completes his work as lord krishna facilitated arjun's development vasudeva also does the same thing before he goes the two men sit one last time next to the river together and for the first time siddhartha hears the om sound this was the moment of salvation this was the moment which is showing that he has come out of all the bondages of his life after vasudeva's departure in the forest siddhartha takes the responsibility to act as a ferryman he was taking people from one side of the river to another side of the river he was continuing his life on the river as a ferryman earlier we had seen that 30 years he lived his life on one side of the river the next 30 years he lived on another side of the river river and now he is living his life on the river coming this side of the river going that side of the river so he is living life in the with the flow of the river one day his friend govinda who f- chose to become a follower of lord buddha appears there he was a staunch believer of buddha he followed him very faithfully he was a devotee but he couldn't attain salvation simply by following someone you cannot attain salvation is the major theme of this novel same thing happened with govinda he didn't get salvation and when he saw siddhartha he saw a great transformation uh, on siddhartha siddhartha had made many follies many mistakes in his life even though he has attained salvation govinda was a faithful follower even though he remained unchanged he was still feeling that type of um, discontent within his 
heart so he wanted to know from siddhartha the the secret of uh, his transformation uh, he wanted to know he wanted siddhartha to tell him everything what has happened but siddhartha did not tell him anything he simply said one thing no words can communicate wisdom whatever wisdom a person gets in his life through experience cannot be communicated using words it would be just simply uh, instructions or words nothing else but my wisdom i cannot cannot communicate to you that is what siddhartha said to govinda siddhartha simply asked govinda to kiss his forehead and when govinda does this he sees in his old wrinkled face agelessness and unity of all things govinda could see the face of a young brahmin boy govinda could see a face of a samana govinda could see a face of kamla's lover these were different faces but each face was reshaping another shape when uh, siddhartha lived life of a young brahmin boy he learned quite a lot and that helped him live his life as a samana when he was a samana he learned quite a lot and that helped him to live life as kamla's lover kamla's friend and as a merchant when he was a merchant he learned quite a lot in his life which helped him learn quite a lot when he was staying with the ferryman so all the faces were contributing to the next phase so there was a continuous stream of face that govinda could see on the face of siddhartha they were not different they were unified so unity was observed by govinda and govinda could make out that yes by plunging into different experiences only we get wisdom nobody's uh, ready made teaching helps us to attain salvation and here the novel ends if we analyze the developmental process of harman hesse's chief character character siddhartha we can analyze each and every chapter see when the chapter 1 opens siddhartha status was he was practicing rituals he was having debates with the learned brahmins about atma about god about salvation about nirvana and he was practicing contemplation but he didn't remain the same at the end of the chapter there were some mediations which were going on in his heart as well as in his mind the affective mediations were he was feeling inner dissatisfaction he was feeling no peace he was not happy from his within this was an affective mediation which could Uh, facilitate a kind of development um, in siddhartha some cognitive mediations also were responsible for the development of siddhartha he was thinking that whatever he was doing as a brahmin boy was useless as a brahmin boy he was hearing set previous established knowledge and he thought that all of these was not important in his life because nobody's ready made knowledge helps somebody so he was having a kind of dissatisfaction he was feeling that everything is meaningless and whatever is meaningless should be left out he understand that actual doing is the important thing and actual doing is the way to attain peace this was the co- cognitive mediation which occurred which uh, helps uh, him to develop and at the end of the chapter we can see the development in siddhartha in two ways something something he unlearned which was made to made him to learn was unlearned by him he earlier his father his uh, elders his religious elders told him to follow rituals they told him to believe in offerings he was entering into Uh, debates with the learned people but now he unlearns that rituals offers and debates are not important and by quitting 
uh, whatever he has learnt, he enters into new learning. He thinks that samanas might help him realize his soul. There is a connection between unlearning and unlearning. If you don't do away with whatever you have learnt in the past, you cannot create space for new learning. So Siddhartha's story make us understand that there is a chain of unlearning and learning. If we want to learn something new in our life, we need to unlearn whatever is obstructing our development. On the scene, on the screen, we can see chapter-wise unlearning and learning. We have already analyzed the unlearning that happened in the first period, uh, chapter and the learning that was occurred in the first chapter. Coming to the second chapter, we can say that in the second chapter, Siddhartha unlearns that someone's ways of meditation, fasting, holding of breath and tormenting, tormenting of the self are not necessary. He lived with Samanas. He was doing everything what Samanas were doing. But at the end, he realized that these things are not important in life. So, he learned something new. He learned that he should meet an enlightened being like Buddha who can help him attain um, Nirvana. So again, in the third chapter, which is titled as Gautama, Gautam Buddha, he, he enters into dialogue with Gautam Buddha. And in this chapter, he unlearns that teaching and teacher are inevitable for learning. He wanted to accept Gautam Buddha as teacher, but after having a dialogue with Gautam Buddha, he realizes that no teacher can help you attain Siddha, uh, salvation. So you must go on in your life. You must plunge into different experiences and thereby you must derive a kind of wisdom for your life. No teacher can help you. So the learning was the ultimate understanding needs to be sought by the seeker only. Here we need to understand the meaning of the word seeker. A seeker is a different person than a finder. A person who is a finder, he or she tries to get ready-made answers. But a seeker is a person who tries to get wisdom only by plunging into different experiences. If we recall the life of Siddhartha, we can say that Throughout his life, he tried to become a seeker. Every time he entered into different...